If you've ever contemplated getting a parrot as a pet, not just any parrot but a big one like a sulphur crested cockatoo, our next story will either reinforce your absolute desire to live with this magnificent species or it'll put you off big birds forever. She's loud, she's manipulative, she's destructive and she, she's also very smart. This is DJ, a six-year-old sulphur-crested parrot at home in what can only be described as parrot paradise in her home in Sydney's north. We first met DJ at Sorry. Sydney's Animal Referral Hospital with her mum, Roz Green, having her weight loss progress checked by her favourite vet in the world, Dr Jane Weller. Stay there. Stay. I'm right here. First. There we go, 972. Oh. Well, that, no, but it's, it's not too bad. It's better so than it was. We were trying to get her under the one kilo mark. But yeah. DJ didn't always oh. like vet visits and vice versa. There was one avian and exotic vet practice that she used to go to that they actually had in their file that DJ was just a drama queen and DJ was traumatised each time she went to the vets. I don't know, but it just doesn't seem like there was that much of relationship building that you need, that obviously this practice at Animal Referral Hospital does have. It seems DJ got off to a rocky start, which is apparently quite common for larger parrots. So we got her when she was probably between six and eight months. Already she'd had a couple of homes before she came to us. And it's a sad thing for a lot of cockatoos is people do get them and then realise that it's very, very, very hard to care for them. And so they get passed around from home to home to home and it really distresses them because they need to bond and their psyches are very fragile. Oh yes, oh yes. But when they do bond, the mutual love is obvious. DJ also loves getting out and about, wearing a harness to keep her safe. One of the reasons why we also like taking her out is because it helps her to socialise with lots of people and she gets accustomed to lots of people stepping up on lots of people so she isn't just bonded to Doug and to me but she realises there's a big flock out of humans out there that she also can connect with and feel comfortable with and be happy to, to be around. Including Jane, especially Jane. <laughs> but watch how both Roz and Dr Jane quickly distract DJ when her behaviour indicates she wants to play the birds and bees game. Oh no, that's oh, not no. a good idea. No, okay. <laughs> it's not good for a bird to become sexually amorous. She does seem to have a fairly high libido and we wouldn't want her to become so amorous that eventually she wants to lay an egg. One of the problems with female parrots is they can get egg bound mm -hmm. and that is quite dangerous for them. While DJ's owners know what they're doing, many others do not, resulting in their pet bird becoming egg bound. And it is relatively common um, and we see it in birds, parrots that are really bonded to their owners um, and the owners don't realise that like patting them down the back can stimulate them to lay eggs um, and cuddling them and being really in close quarters with them all the time um, can be stimulating for that reason. Um, and so then we see them come in with, if they haven't had enough calcium in their diet especially and they get the eggs stuck in their abdomen. We have to remove it surgically. Well, no need for a paper shredder in this house. DJ loves to use her beak to strip branches of seeds and play with a constantly changing variety of homemade toys that keep her entertained and healthy. But there's one thing all parrot owners fear, outliving their bird. So how many years could DJ live? Oh, 90. 
In fact, we're looking at what we're going to do with DJ if an unforeseen event happens to us to ensure that she's looked after because we would just be very distraught if she ended up in someone's backyard in a little cage or in the garage with no relationship and no interaction because she deserves only the best, really. <laughs> Hello. Oh, she just wants to interact with the camera. She loves to flirt with the camera. First up. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Who's the beautiful girl? Who's my be- Oh, she wants to step up on you now. She wants to say hello to you. Oh, yes. There you go. Bit hard. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Oh no, DJ. <laughs> she was um, getting a little amorous. Step up. Yes. <laughs>